Okay, rambling session. This is the first rambling session I have. So nothing to do with makeup. So if you just want to exit up, please quit this video now. Uh, I find that this is a bit too early to do a rambling session because this is only my video should be fit. But things happen and till now I'm still a bit overwhelmed. I received two sad news from last night and this morning. Last night I received a news that one of my friends in his late 30s may require a chemotherapy and this morning received the news that our teacher has left us it's down with cancer also. I don't know why this year there are some of my friends with cancer and they are in their 30s or 40s and some passed away it triggered a lot of thoughts in me and today I just like to share one thought over here I was thinking before I know their condition, I realized that they have a sudden weight loss. So this is kind of also related to the beauty because we girls just like to be as slim as possible, isn't it? <laughs> At least for me. For pain pots like me, I always want to look good and always want to be as thin as possible. I always complain that I'm fat and yet at the same time, I cannot resist good food. <laughs> so that's why I can never slim down and I deserve it. I know. And I don't exercise. Oh no! But what I'm referring to people like me to be honest, it's not very bad. We are healthy in our own weight. And we just want to be as pretty as possible. Or rather, it's myself. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking if I am my friends who suffer from a sudden weight loss. I think, of course this is only my assumption. I think they would rather want back their original weight because that would mean health for them. So I was thinking, what's the rationale for me to keep wanting to lose weight? Or the beauty sick? I never thought that can my body take the weight loss unnecessarily and does my body want it. I never think in this way. It's all about me who want this right now. And am I blindly following a certain beauty trend? Maybe I am. Who set this beauty trend? What's the rationale for this beauty trend? Maybe, or all we know, it's after some brainstorming session by some brilliant business owners who created this beauty trend. I don't know. Again, this re-emphasize 
to me that is more Because without help, you cannot bring out the best things. I don't know whether you have the same feeling as me that when we are down with illnesses or suffering from pain, our thinking tends to be inclined more towards the negative side. I'm in touch with for myself. I am rather still healthy. Not down with any major illnesses yet. Touch wood. I think if I ever strike with major illnesses, concern is not about makeup. It's not really. It's more of whether I can survive. So what I want to say is, it will be a true beauty for me. It doesn't just consist of this external look. Yes, this external look is very important because we feel good, we look good. Actually, it should be we look good, we feel good, and when we feel good, we look good. <laughs> it's a cycle. I think health also contributes to our beauty because without the health, it tends to be very negative and people don't like negative people because negative people zap away the energy and not only health that constitutes to love beauty but true beauty must also have wisdom and inner beauty it's more difficult to achieve because it needs a lot of conscientious effort and mindfulness. I watched a lot of famous beauty YouTubers. They like to have this saying which I agree and disagree. They always say that makeup brings I do agree with this because it does help to bring the spell of confidence and good feel to us. And once we have good feel, one, will just, one thing will lead to another. It's better to have this spell of good feels and confidence rather than zero, none at all. But about we remove our makeup. So I hope in my channel we can cultivate the inner beauty and wisdom together. Each time that I write those inner beauty, it doesn't mean I achieve it because I'm not a saint or a sage. I always lose my mindfulness and always commit a lot of mistakes. But by writing it down, as a tip to share, it re-emphasizes and bring back the mindfulness of me. So I hope we can all practice together and also at the same time to achieve a more improved external beauty because all of this work hand in hand. Because it's not just one area that makes us a true beauty. So I hope we dears really know what is healthy and good for us and not finally chase after baby trends. <laughs> well, health matters more. To be healthy, it means to be beautiful. So I hope if you stay throughout this video, we can all practice together. Okay, last but not least, this is the inner beauty tip for you. 
It's a blessing to be healthy. It's unhealthy to blindly follow beauty trends. Thank you so much for watching. If you just like this video, please help me to subscribe my channel. Give me a thumbs up and also comment in the comment section. Thank you very much for your help. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye!